I've struggled with depression, but not so much as I've struggled with mania. That's, that's sort of my main challenge. Um, and for me, learning how to channel that in a more positive way is what has worked for me as far as remaining in recovery um, and not having that just completely impact my life in a negative way. Um, with, I truly believe that with these diagnoses and these, these things that we experience, there are gifts that come with that and we just have to identify those gifts and know how to use them. Um, for my experience as a family member, um, it's interesting how I can, th I can think this way about myself and my own challenges, um, but I'm also a mother of a child who struggles, and with that comes a whole other set of feelings and emotions and, and challenges um, in how to work with him, how to help him, how to support him, um, because there's a whole new set of feelings that come in there for myself. Um, I, want to, I want to figure out things for myself. I was lucky enough to have parents that were okay with letting me stumble and fall and crash and help me pick myself back up um, because they knew that if they tried to direct my life, I was going to run in the opposite direction, and that, that never worked. Um, for me and, and working with my son, um, I, he's like me in many ways. He'll run in the opposite direction, but as a mom, what I want to do is protect him. And I want him to be okay, and I, I want him to make good choices, and I want him to do all these things. Um, but what I've had to learn along the way is I, I can't force him to do that. And he's going to stumble and he's going to fall. I just have to make sure when he's willing to accept the support that I'm still there to support him. That, and that's what he needs to know. I may not always agree with his choices. I may have to set some boundaries, but I will never abandon him.